Let's take a look at how to use the write and write lined methods to output strings and formatted strings. So there's several ways to format output statements using the write and write line statements. So first let's take a, take a simple example. Let's output console.write and look at the difference between the write method and the write line method. So if I say on one line in a, or in one statement, console.write line hello world. I'm sorry, console.write hello world. And then the next statement, this is C sharp. What we're doing is we are <clears throat> outputting the string hello world. Sometimes we call this a string literal or a fixed string or fixed text. Uh, and we're not going to add a new line to the end of our string because we're using the write statement. Let's take a look at how that looks. If we, if we run this, we'll see hello world, exclamation mark, this is C-sharp. Now why is that? Well the first statement, console.write line, it's outputting on this line, hello world, exclamation mark. And notice between the exclamation mark and our double quote or the end of our string, there's no spaces. Let's add a space. We'll build this over again. Now you see that the space was output. This is an important thing to learn because we have these fixed strings exactly what's between the double quotes is going to be output to our our, our window. <clears throat> now let's modify the first write method to call the write line method. So the difference between the write and the write line method is basically that it's going to output a new line after our string. So here we have hello world exclamation mark we still have the space but now you can see that the cursor wraps down to the next line before it prints our next console.write output okay what if we want to have a single uh, statement write or write line that includes white space such as a new line C sharp makes this pretty easy to do by giving us what are, what are called escape sequences. So an escape sequence in C sharp is a backslash inside of our, our fixed string or double quotes uh, of an escape sequence is a character sequence uh, that starts with a backslash and is followed by a character indicating what type of white space to add. So in this example let's add a new line. So the escape sequence is the forward, the backslash end. This this is a new line escape sequence. So now in a single right line statement, if we print hello world, new line, this is C sharp. Again, remember that it's in this fixed string, so it starts with a double quote, ends with a double quote. Let's build it. Go ahead and run it. Now you can see in a single console.write line statement, we have hello world, the new line, and then because it's a write line statement, again, we have a new line. So you'll see there's a uh, blank line between the this is C sharp and the command prompt. We could add a new line at the beginning of the string as well. Let's take a look at that. So build it, rerun it. Now you see there's a new line, then it prints hello world another new line, this is C sharp, and then because again the right line method we have another blank line before the print. <clears throat> Let's add some other escape sequences, so there's there's a few common escape sequences you can use. So we have new line, which is backslash n, tab, which is backslash t. Let's try tab. So if we build this and run it, 
you'll see now it adds a tab as opposed to a new line. <clears throat> because escape sequences start with a backslash, if we added a backslash to our string, it would think that we're adding an escape sequence. Therefore, we have to have a specific escape sequence to have a backslash. So two backslashes will add a single backslash to our output. So if I add backslash, backslash, you'll see it, it outputs a single backslash. Also, uh, double quote, because our, our strings are, are delimited by uh, double quotes here, we need um, a way to output a double quote. So we have an escape sequence um, to output a double quote. And I'll put the double quotes around. Uh, this is C sharp. So you should see hello world, exclamation mark, then a tab, then a double quote. The text, this is C sharp, and then another double quote. Be careful to make sure that you've got the right number of double quotes, right? We still want to have one at the beginning, one at the end. Something to be, be cautious of when you're actually outputting double quotes. So now we see it prints hello world, a tab. A double quote, given the double quote to escape sequence, this is C sharp, and then an escape sequence for, for the double quote again. And also, something to practice is uh, spaces. Oftentimes, uh, I think early on, we don't realize that it's what, what's in it, what's in a uh, fixed string is literal. If you have three spaces, it's going to output three spaces. <clears throat> so you can see here we have three spaces. It outputs literally three spaces. Here we have a single space. It outputs a single space. Okay, we can also uh, add formatted strings. And we can also insert variables into our output. So let's do this. Let's add a few. So I'll add a string and give it a value uh, for your audiences. I'll just say A. Maybe we want to modify who we're saying hello to. Maybe we want to modify the type of language that we're using for the program. Now the right and right line methods uh, accept formatted strings uh, with uh, what we call format items inside of the, the fixed string. So, so what we're going to have is we're going to have multiple arguments inside of this method call. So at the moment, we have a single argument. It's a string. You could say string literal or fixed string. And basically just saying, hello world, this is C sharp. And it's, it's literally, if we think about the escape sequences uh, as being specific characters, we're outputting literally what's in those double quotes. Now, we might want to add other variables that are available to us. So what we're going to do is we're going to go put our insertion point after that first fixed string and we're going to add a comma. Now what we've got is we've got multiple arguments in a comma separated list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add A and B. And I want these, the values of these variables to appear in my output. So there's a specific way that C sharp allows us to add each comma separated uh, item in this list into this initial string. Now, remember this initial string provides kind of the basis of what we're going to output. Okay, so here's the format that you've got to, got to learn. I, I recommend just practice it. 
uh, add five variables, add one variable, see how it works. So what we have is a, a list of items and it starts with zero and it has a specific format. So we need an open curly brace, a number, and then a closed curly brace. And then we're going to increment it each time. So then we have zero, now we have uh, argument one. So this is the first item in our list, A, this is going to replace zero. This is the second item, this is going to replace uh, format item number one. So let's take a look at the output. So we've got So we've got string A, and we've assigned the value world. So you can see A is represented here with this curly brace 0, curly brace. So the value of A is replacing this format item. And then B is replacing this format item. So if you look at the string, hello world, this is C sharp. Now let's go ahead and change A, the values of A and B. seems to be something wrong with adding or outputting this is Java from the C sharp version, but we'll do it anyway. So now what we're doing is we're taking again the value of A and replacing this first format item with the value of A, the second one with B. So if we added added more We simply uh, add it to the comma separated list and we add uh, another format item. And we better change it back to C sharp since we're saying it's our favorite language. <clears throat> so we'll build it back to our command prompt window and run it here. So now we've got hello class, this is C sharp, which is C sharp is again uh, the value of variable B. And then we're we're inserting the value of C here. So just an easy way to uh, add variables uh, to a string concat. So we, we're concatenating all of these values together. Now, what's really, really useful about this is that we can actually format the, the output. So now, uh, and here I've just opened up MSDN, you can see there are are several ways to format. Now, what we have is we have again the, the number of the item, and then we have a colon, and then uh, a format uh, indicator. So we're a format specifier. So, <clears throat> for example, if we wanted to uh, modify a, a number so that it's currency, we would use this format. So let's go back to our program and do that. So we'll say uh, hello world, please pay Okay, so now we've got is we've got uh, decimal value 
our decimal variable called b. We've assigned the value 5. And now in our format string or format item, we've indicated that we want it to be formatted as currency in the output. Same thing, we still have a list of, you know, here's uh, item number one, item number zero, the first uh, argument in the comma separated list. Uh, here's item number one, which is the second item. Except now we've added a, a format specifier. Let's go ahead and build it and see what the output looks like. So now you see it's taking this value 5, which is a decimal value, and it's automatically formatted, formatted it as currency. So just, just an easy way to, to format arguments uh, in our string. We could also also put a literal literal value in there if we wanted. Still comes out the same. I should, should probably change the So you'll see that it still uh, easily formats the output for us. So that it's it's a little bit uh, of a different uh, syntax to get used to, especially when you're first starting out programming. So I encourage you to you know practice as many examples as you can. Output a uh, right line statement with a, a simple uh, fixed string. Output with uh, format items inside of the string. Try the escape sequences, and with the format items, you know try a, a list with only one item that's going to be uh, added, inserted into the, the fixed string. Try it with you know five different items so that you get used to kind of the format of, of how to add values. Getting used to those right line statements is a very elementary thing that we need to do early on. So, so please do practice those. Thanks.